we found out we were pregnant and we were so, so excited. She was born in Wichita um, at the United Regional at the, in the new nursery or the new, you know, the new wing, the Bridwell. And that was really nice. So we were excited about that. <laughs> that got done just in time. <laughs> Jackson is, he's very social. He is, um, he's a boy's boy. Yes. And in all, in, in the, all usage of the words, he is just a boy's boy. Loves to be outside. Just like over 2,000 other families in 2009, the Smiths welcomed a brand new baby into their lives. They ooed and awed, took lots of pictures, and everything seemed perfect until Thanksgiving. Jackson stayed the night with his grandma the night before his grandparents. And we picked him up for Thanksgiving. Um, we had plans, and she said he's not walking. And so we thought, well, maybe he's got a sticker in his foot or right. something. Yeah. So we took him to my sister's for where we were going to have our Thanksgiving at and told them, and they were watching him, and it just wasn't, something wasn't right about it. In fact, something was very wrong. At first, the diagnosis was a sprained knee or hip, but when he continued to deteriorate, Jackson's doctor, Rodney Yap, became more aggressive. In two weeks, he still wasn't walking, so we did the x-ray and couldn't find anything in the x-ray. And uh, that's when he scheduled the uh, MRI with the hospital at Bridwell. And uh, so we went in and, and we did the MRI and went home and Dr. Yap called about 5.30 that evening and said, okay, this is basically where we're at. We think that it's either a bone infection or it's a tumor. And I want him back up here right now. I'm going to admit him. When they called and said that we needed to come in, it was, I, I think that's probably the most scared I've ever been in my entire life. To hear the word tumor, yeah. It, that, it's over after that. Like that, you're just, you can't get past that point until you've been proven that it's not. The next 24 hours was a blur for Marley and Brandon. One phone call had sent their world spinning. Suddenly, everything was put on hold in order to care for their son. Admitted to the pediatric unit at United Regional, Jackson underwent a series of tests to determine what was wrong. And we go into the exam room and uh, Dr. Yap's in there. He's there the whole time. I mean, he doesn't have to be there because he's got, we have the specialist there. And Dr. Yap is standing there with me. He's. You can actually tell that Dr. Yap is just as worried and yeah. just as concerned right. as we are, you know, as, as his parents. You can tell he's just as anxious to see what's going on with our child. Yeah. And that was, you know, that was amazing to me. The final diagnosis, osteomyelitis. This bacterial infection is most common in preschool age children when it affects kids. And like it did in Jackson, the disease usually attacks the long bones in the body like a leg. Most cases are caused by a bacteria that can be found on the skin of healthy children that's made its way into the body. In the past, this disease could have been fatal. Today, we have treatment options that will allow Jackson a full recovery. Thanks to donations to the Children's Miracle Network, that treatment can happen at United Regional we were in good hands where we were and I thought that I, I mean it, to me it seemed like such a hassle to go to Cook's and for them to keep him there when we're working in Wichita and you know his mom his mom works his, his stepdad works my parents don't work but they still got other things they have to do they still got other grandkids and you don't get paid I don't get paid if, if I'm not there. He's I his first week. Job. I mean, it was just like, I don't think we can go to Cook's if we wanted to, almost, you know. But this was, I felt like <laughs> it wasn't necessary. I felt like we were where we needed to be. Jackson stayed in the pediatric unit at United Regional for a week. Because he was close to home, both of his parents could continue to work while he received the best care possible. He's, he's an outside Kid and just being in that room, he wasn't allowed to go to the play area because he already had an infection, didn't want to get anything else. Mm -hmm. And so the nurses up there took the little car and cleaned it really, really well, Lysol and all that. So that was 
and we would take laps around it and try to try to entertain him and then uh <clears throat> we'd park it outside the room the nurses would knock on the door i know jackson's here because his car is outside so <laughs> i thought the nurses were really great yeah. no holds bar now yeah he's <laughs> he's everywhere i like boys boy he's climbing everything all over his toys I mean, he's not scared of anything. No, he has no fear. And I almost wonder, I mean, I know that when they're little, they usually don't, but I almost wonder if if going through what he's been through, if he's like, you don't yeah. even know. Yeah. <laughs> this is not scary compared yeah. to everything else. The first thing was just him standing. We we called everybody. Just him standing, we, we just and hopped is- up and just clapping, you know, trying to, at, okay, now take a step. Now take a step, and he would, he would think about it, and he's like, okay, no, I'm not sure about this. You could see on his face, I'm not. Sh-. And it, it was very slow. I mean, I, I had butterflies in my stomach. It's like watching walk again. Every dollar donated to Children's Miracle Network helps to treat children like Jackson and helps moms and dads like Marley and Brandon. Whether it's the IV that was used to pump antibiotics into his body, or the bed that he slept in during his stay. It was your donations to Children's Miracle Network that helped Jackson heal. We did the last MRI and and it wasn't gone, but it hadn't gotten any worse. So that was that's the best that we can hope for. Um, we still watch him, and if he limps or walks funny, uh, it's still yeah. that brings it right back to you, and it's it's still close to your heart. But I mean, we can't. We can't be more gracious for where we are now and more grateful for, for how he's acting now and how he's been and, and his, his health since, since we've left the hospital.